first started my journey to be a metal sculptor, I didn't know what I was doing, like a lot of entrepreneurs. And so I went to the Small Business Association and I said, this is my idea, this is what I wanna do. And I was told that I would fail. Um, I was not given any support, I was not given any love. And so it was kind of a frustrating experience, that's an understatement. But, so I, w I went to the bank, <laughs> I went to the bank and I asked them for a small business loan and was also told that I would fail and that I couldn't get any help from them. They were very nice about it, but there was definitely like, good luck lady, you're out of your mind, um, kind of attitude. So how do you deal with that negativity? You know, how do you deal with so many no's? And my parents didn't think that I could succeed. My coworkers didn't think I could succeed. And my friends who were also my coworkers <laughs> didn't think I would succeed. And it wasn't out of meanness. It was out of, a lot of the people were, it was out of safety and security. And I get it, but then I had this, you know, I had this dream in my head. I knew that I would succeed. It starts with that. But what do you do with like all these no's that you're given and how do you handle no? Because if you're going to be an entrepreneur, if you're going after a dream that is, is like outside of your like your daily norm of your like nine to five job, you know, the odds are stacked against you. But what I personally did and hopefully what you can do that will help you is that I turned every damn no that I got, I turned it into a stepping stone. And then I use those stepping stones to create a path to success. And it's just, you know, each one was like each, each no, each time. So, you know, it does cut and it's like, it cuts deeply. You have to, you have to grow really thick skin and just get like this kind of like, I don't know, just get this thick skin around you and just understand the fact that you are going to hit so many walls. And you're going to have so many people tell you no and you just need to take that and just use it like use it to your benefit instead of sitting around and going poor me the banker doesn't believe in me and poor me the guy that's at the small business association doesn't believe in me i believe in me and each of those stepping stones like i moved a little bit closer and it just allows me to you know to move forward but I just I used it to create a path like that that was all like fuel for the fire that burned inside me to succeed like I already wanted to succeed I already knew that you know and it was one of those I don't know how it's gonna happen I just know damn well as long as I continue to work at it like it will happen but every single one of those knows no matter what you are doing no matter what you're creating no matter what your business idea whatever your dream is whatever it is every single no that you get use that no to create your stepping stone path like just let it move you forward let it fuel that fire that's inside you it's it's not something that um like in a way it's just like i want to just go back and be like i made it you know a little bit and i think probably in my head i probably you know i probably did. it's human nature but it's a fact that like hell yes i did this when everyone told me no and if I can do this, then you can do it too. Just, you know, and, and don't go thumb your nose at people. <laughs> That's not the nicest thing I've said all day. But it definitely, it builds confidence. It builds confidence, especially, and, and that's something that's been like a side blessing is the confidence I've grown because of it. But I did what everyone told me that I couldn't. You know, especially when you have uh, someone like the small businesses. So, and, and like, they are great people. Like, don't get me wrong. It's it's just a, I feel like a lot of people told me no, just out of protection, as far as like, they didn't want to see me get hurt or they just didn't, I don't know, they know what the odds are. And they're just, the odds are in like almost insurmountable as far as like how many businesses succeed, but then to be an artist on top of it, it's probably even lower because you don't have, your average artist doesn't have like a product line. It's, you're creating one-offs all the time. So there's not really like this. So I mean, like, I get it. I get it now. Like just then it was just like, oh, hell no, man. Like tell me no and watch me go. So I just did. I used that. I used every single no that I got as fuel for my fire. 
and just created these stepping stones and then used those stepping stones to create this path to success. If I can do it, then y'all can do it. Like there's absolutely no, you know, there, there's nothing in your way except for right here. And this is where it starts and ends is you have to know in your head that you are going to succeed. And just, you, you know, use that as just like that, just that's your strength, like that's your power. Everything feeds that. And yes, it is difficult when you get told no. It's so like, you know, it kind of is an ego bruiser. It's, you know, it kind of knocks you down a couple of steps. It knocks you back a couple of those stepping stones. I'm telling you, man, just gain traction. Just gain that traction and just know that every single no that you get, it's just like, just because they don't see it doesn't mean that you don't, you know. But as long as you're seeing it in your head and you know that you can do it, then it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. So when you are facing all these no's that you're going to get as an entrepreneur, regardless of what your path is, just use those no's as your stepping stones and create your own dang path to success. I love y'all very, very much. Be excellent to yourself. Be excellent to each other and keep moving forward, y'all.